All right, well, we're taking a look at the Brazzo Vario today. Um, this is our uh, our main grinder that we use for cupping here in the in the Venia lab, and it, it comes standard with a ceramic burr set. And one of the complaints on it is that um, the fines that the ceramic burr set distributes in the coarser grind settings. So Brazzo has um, put out a new set of burrs for it. Uh, it's a steel burr set and we're going to go ahead and show you how to install. Um, note that the Vario is a, a fabulous grinder. It doses by uh, timer so you could uh, um, get your pour over set up or whatever setup you have and just dose by um, amount of time so uh, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, whatever. Um, it does fabulous uh, on uh, uh, espresso grind settings um, really, really good grinder for espresso, um, but it kind of falls off a bit on the coarser grind setting. So we're going to see how the um, the steel burr set does in addressing the issues, and we'll show you how to install them here. So first off, um, we'll just go ahead and take off the accessories here, um, get them out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and unplug the grinder here. Step in front of the camera and do that. Um, You'll notice uh, on the inside you have the burr carrier on the top and that uh, you, you just uh, turn uh, clockwise to get out but it is in there very very tightly. Um, Bratza has a tool uh, that makes the job really easy. You can do it with your hands, um, fingers, but it's hard. <laughs> so this tool makes it really nice. Um, you see on the top there's some arrows to tell you which direction to turn it. Um, simply put it on, turn, and it takes a little bit to get it out and you have the burr that comes out and you see it's the ceramic burr set. So here's a side-by-side -side of uh, the burrs. Um, here's the new steel burr that we're replacing with and here's the original uh, ceramic burr set. You can see um, they're quite different on their um, number of larger teeth that do the coarse um, grind and the smaller teeth on the outside that um, do the finer f finish grind. Um, so um, on the top burr set pretty easy. Um, there's three screws um, here, here, and here and simply um, this is a standard slotted screwdriver and back those out. So note, you want a really uh, thin slotted screwdriver to, to do this with. If you have a fat one, you're going to um, chip the burr. Just, the burr should just come right out. Um, note that if it won't come out right away, um, generally after you use it for a while, you'll get um, coffee grounds um, up in between there, and it is in there snugly. Uh, trick is just go get some hot tap water running and just uh, um, get the, the aluminum part of the burr carrier in the water and as it expands it will generally just fall right out. Um, make sure you have your hand underneath it so you don't drop it and break it. So here we're on the inside of the of the uh, grinder here. Um, again there's just three screws holding that burr in and this is the part of the, the, the grinder that um, spins so you might need to have a second hand in there um, to steady it. Um, can be a little bit difficult to break um, the screws loose um, so make sure um, you don't chip the ceramic burr. So I'm going to use uh, just the very edge um, to gently lift it. Um, again just be very careful got it out. So, there we have it. Um, installing the new burr set is quite simple. Just go ahead and um, place the new burr set in right there. Uh, they do include a different screw. It has a little wider head on the top. Um, let me hold those up for you. Um, 
you can see those. Uh, that's the new screw, much larger head, and the smaller screw for the for the ceramic burr set. So we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and drop those in. Those are all in place. And now to the upper. All right, so here's the upper burr. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the new screws in with the new burr. Uh, upper burr. There. Um, I don't remember if I noted, but both burrs are identical. So up and up and down don't matter. Um, they're both the same. So give get them all started. Um, and just gently down before you snug them down. You don't over tighten them, but you don't want it loose either. All right, right down on the top. Um, line these up with the tabs. Come down in, make sure it's snug down, and get your tool again. And it has the has the Titan go counterclockwise. Pull it in, pull it snug. Put our hopper back on. Go all the way down to the um, coarsest grind here because we don't want. Um, we may have to. Um, recalibrate the the grinder, and we don't want those burrs touching when we start the motor up. Let's try it. Let's go ahead and go on the manual setting. And start. And we've got some grounds. And it looks pretty good. Um, we will go ahead and, and recalibrate this um, uh, in a minute. Um, we'll do another video with that um, just to make sure that we can get um, down to the grind or finer grind settings. Uh, to note, these burrs, um, the, the steel burrs on this, are not for espresso. Um, you will be very dissatisfied if you try to go down the espresso grind settings on them. Um, so, strictly for um, pour over, cupping, um, drip, uh, even up into the French press. Another thing to note is that uh, um, there is a seasoning period for steel burrs. Um, on the steel burrs on the edges, um, this is uh, the ceramic burr we took out, but the edges on the steel are cut by machine, and there might be um, a little roughness on the edges, so it takes some time for those to get worn down. So um, maybe 10 pounds of coffee um, need to be ground um, before they really hit their prime. Um, you could use it before that for sure, but just uh, something to note. So, all right. Thanks for watching.